Hi there and welcome to another Boodle Woodle tutorial on astrophotography processing and uh, today what I'd like to do is show you a method that I'm currently using uh, which is for selecting uh, definable areas uh, such as gradients or a galaxy or well, it could be anything really but it's just a better way of masking and selecting areas which has a lot of versatility so I'd like to show that to you uh, and how that works and some of its applications so what we've got here first of all is uh, an image of uh, the galaxy M106 uh, which you'll find in the constellation of the plow around about that area and um, what we're going to do is you'll notice that there's a, a nasty gradient here I've done a little bit of work on it um, but it, but as you with a lot of uh, images that you use in astrophotography gradients can be a big issue and uh, a bit of a problem but this method that I'm going to show you is a great way of selecting areas like this and working on them. Uh, it's once you've learnt it, it's it's easy to do. It's just remembering how to do it. So you might want to come back to this tutorial and uh, practice it a few times till you remember it. But once you've got it down, uh, Pat, then it's it's a really good method. So this is what we do. You'll notice here this whitish area here where the gradient is. Well, I would like to select that and I would like to get rid of it um, but I would also like to protect my stars as well now I've covered star selection in my other tutorials so I'm just going to do a quick star selection to uh, protect the stars and that will be done by going up here to um, select and go to color range and in the select box uh, instead of sample colors we open it up and go down to highlights and choose highlights and then press OK this will select the highlights in your image the white areas uh, particularly the very bright areas and that's the stars in this case but uh, there's some things that we don't want selected like the core of the galaxy there so what do we do to get rid of that we select the lasso tool up here um, and then when we've got our lasso tool selected you need to press the alt key um, and hold that down and go around the areas that you want to deselect. So I'm just going to do that now. There's a few little galaxies in here that I want to uh, deselect because I don't want to uh, select those ones. Um, okay, that's good. And now I'll just apply a select modify feather I'm just going to feather these by about three and say OK to that good now with the stars selected what I'm going to do now is in my background copy that I've got here uh, I'm going to apply a layer mask uh, with this little icon down here that looks like a little camera click on that and that will s apply a mask of the selection that we've made so now what we do is we go up here to the adjustment panel and we create a curves adjustment layer there by clicking on that and this will place our curves adjustment layer and if I move the curves adjustment layer you're going to see that it is affecting everything in the image which is not what we want we just want our stars selected and we want to be able to um, adjust them with this curves layer so I'm just going to pull away and let go and that will uh, undo the selection that I've got there on the curves line then I'm going to go back here to the curves box uh, the curves uh, layer here and if you put your cursor which at the moment is in the shape of a little hand if you point the finger right between the two layers the background copy and the curves layer here and then you press the alt key and click You'll notice uh, two little circles come up uh, and click. That will join your uh, selected stars with your curves layer. And now when I move the curves layer up, if I move it darken it, you'll see that it's just affecting the stars that I had um, selected so now my stars are protected and again all I'm doing here is just moving the cursor away and the middle of my picture where we want, and then just letting go and that just undoes any changes you've done here on the curves layer to select it again you can hit the button move it up and down and pull off again to deselect 
Okay, so what we've got now is our masked stars and our curves layer joined at the hip, if you like, so that when we move the curves adjustment layer, they will be protected and be fine. Okay, now having done that, what we want to do is we want to make a change to this bright uh, gradient here. We want to be able to darken that, but not the stars, just this area here that we're interested in. So to do that, what we do is we select the background layer uh, here, and then we move up again and we select uh, the curves adjustment layer again. Okay. Um, and then we're going to be working on this curves adjustment layer that we've created for the background. You'll notice again if I move it up that it's uh, affecting everything there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to uh, the foreground and background colors here and we're going to make sure that the foreground is black and the background is white. Then we're going to select our paint bucket tool or you can press G and then putting the paint bucket tool right in the middle of your picture just click and that will then turn the curves adjustment layer mask black here. So what we want to do now is we push up the curves adjustment layer uh, quite high about there then we go back to the foreground and background color and we change them around so it's now white as the foreground color and black as our background color. Then we just select our paintbrush tool and I'm going to right click and select a hard brush, put the size up to something like ooh, quite big, 99, 267 pixels there, just big enough to, to work with there and uh, then I'm going to click and you'll notice that because um, I've got my opacity up here set at 60 and my flow at 51% that it's a little bit faint. So we're going to go up here to opacity and set that right up to 100 and flow right up to 100. And then I'm going to paint over the white area, which is the gradient in the picture. So you don't have to be 100% precise here. Just get over that, that area that's all white and not uh, not the color of your background sky that you really want the gradient is what we're dealing here so we just paint that all in okay and then when that's done we go to filter blur and the gaussian blur and we whack that right up whack the radius right up to its full extent and press ok that do its job okay and then if you go back to your curves adjustment and you pull that back down or just drag it across and let go you're back to where you were but the nice thing now is that all of that area is now selected the stars are protected so if we go into the curves adjustment layer and select the little hand pointing icon here uh, and then we put it in the area right in the middle here where the white part of the gradient is and just press down. Uh, you'll notice that that puts a selection point on our curves uh, line there. So just go back there and do that again. And just hold, hold your uh, mouse pointer down and drag down. And you'll, because we're using curves here, you'll notice that I can now get rid of we got it there I can now just drag that down and because that's the area that I selected I can now get rid of that gradient by bringing it down uh, you'll notice if I go down too dark that it's the reverse that this area becomes the white area but that's really just a case of playing with with your curves and getting it right yeah. but when you have Playing with curves just takes a little bit of fiddling around, but you, you get the idea. So you can see how that using this method, I can select areas that I want to get the white areas and gradients and places like that, and then just move that down with the 
with the tool curves tool until I've got a nice background so let's have a look at what that looked like before and after so that's what we were working with before with the gradient and using this method and doing that we were able to pull that down and get rid of it so the other thing is of course as I've said earlier we've got our stars are protected as well so um, you can imagine using this method if you had a nebula in the background and you just wanted to work on the nebula uh, once you've protected the stars perhaps you want to brighten an area or add the colors to it all kinds of things that you can do with the curves um, this is a really really good way of getting that done another thing you can do with it as well as uh, with your stars here if they're a bit bloated you can do exactly what we've done in this top layer here by um, masking the stars adding the curves layer and then when you've done that and the stars are protected you can go back to your background layer and you can apply uh, dust and scratches and when dust and scratches has been applied you can then add a high all layer mask and then paint out where the bloated stars are but uh, I'll cover that one in another tutorial anyway I hope that's been helpful to you a better way of masking in Photoshop uh, very very useful and it can be applied to lots of uh, lots of other um, aspects of your astrophotography and uh, processing so hope that's been uh, helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial in the meantime clear skies